Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Kim with Creative Crafticality and today I have an unboxing of items from craftsbuyer.com. I have been doing collaborations with them the past year or so and this is the most recent box of stuff that I picked out for this month. And so I, I wanted to show you everything and then I will have follow-up videos of things that I make with all of these items. So I wanted to start out, I did pick up two metal die sets. There's this one here, that's really cool. It makes a card where this piece here is kind of an interactive, when you open the card, it, it kind of just, it twists in there. And I'll try and put up a picture here that I found on their website. They have an example of what it looks like. So, and then you'll see it if you watched the video when I make um, a card with this. But I'll just pull the pieces out so you can see what comes with it. So it has all of these pieces. Let me put it behind the paper. It's easier to see here. So it makes these pieces here. It says happy and then there is a birthday with a banner. Of course it's backwards here because when you cut it out on the die machine it, then it'll you just flip it over. And then it has a cupcake. So you can put I think you can put the cupcake in the center as well as the flower so you would pop that out. So I'm really excited to make a card with this. It looks really neat, the pictures, the examples that they had made with it. So stick around for that. And then this set makes a really cool half circle page um, that you can use to make a card or a little mini album or a, like a junk journal flap inside your junk journal. And so it comes with this piece and it also has all of these different flowers that when you cut them out you can layer them up so I really love that so it cuts out this half moon shape then it has this edge that you can glue inside your book or your junk journal or onto a card and then it has the leaves and the flowers there and then it also came with this rose cut out with more leaves and then this has this piece here that makes like a an inner portion. So you can have this as the background or the border around whatever you cut this out and you know just layer different papers. And then of course it has the leaf, the butterfly, and another flower. So I really liked that set. Then I picked up this really cool set of fairies and mushrooms. It's an acrylic stamp set and it says believe in the magic and make a wish and just super cute. This also has the metal dies that cut out the different shapes as well. So let me pull that out. So these shapes match the shapes of the stamp set. And then the last two items I picked up were stationary items. So I'll go with this first. This is a 12 by 12 patterned paper set. It's called Attractive Time. I don't really understand that, why they named it that, but it is a vintage set. And I looked through it and it has it's all vintage and they all coordinate, but it has sort of different themes. There's like a nautical theme in here. There's like a travel theme where there's like the Eiffel Tower. And then there's just a floral theme. So that's the main piece. The only thing that happened was that the corners were kind of bent um, when they delivered them. But that's okay. I usually cut down my papers anyways. But there's two of each style and there's 12 styles, so 24 sheets all together. 
So there's that one. And then this one I thought was really cool. It has a music, really faint music sheet background and some postage, like postal stamp images up there. And then this vintage or like vintage picture of this guy in the top hat and a little dress coat. So there's two of that one. This one was cool. It's kind of a combination of all the different themes going on in this set. So just a collage. This is the one with the Eiffel Tower print and then it has some writing. This one is just a floral like medallion sort of vintage wallpaper look. And then this one has a bee themed or a garden themed in the banner up here and then just kind of a rough vintage paper look at the bottom. This one is a travel theme and sort of a nautical theme. I guess it's more nautical, so it's like a nautical map in the background. There's a treasure chest and a key, and then another like treasure map or a treasure rollout treasure map, and then a pirate ship there and a timepiece down there. This one is another just a pattern. Another map with a pirate ship or a ship down there, nautical ship. And then this one is a floral, kind of a burlapy pattern. And these are, they're not quite cardstock thickness, but they're not as thin as like a 20 pound printer paper. It's kind of in between. It's thicker than actually the sheets that you get at Hobby Lobby um, or Joann's. So it's a little bit thicker than that, but not quite as thick as a cardstock. And then here's another nautical print with some writing that you can't really read. And then there's a anchor up here and then the ship. This one is really cool. Just has some faint, like a written, handwritten letter in the background with a scrolly frame and a flower. And that is the last sheet. So I thought this was really cool. And I haven't done a vintage journal in a while, but I really want to do it. I just, I thought this paper was so pretty. So I have that. And then I picked up this set of stationery. I thought it went really well with that set. So it is a set of envelopes and stationary paper and it has different images printed on the paper. It comes with these stickers which are kind of random. The colors match but they say baked fresh, just baked fresh baking just now specially so special selected so it's I mean I don't I could save these for like a baking theme journal I guess but they don't really match with anything I don't know kind of weird but it comes with craft colored envelopes black envelopes in white so those are great I always use envelopes in my journals and then it comes with four sets of these printed stationary papers and I'll show you well it's six sets actually there's two black two craft and two white I'll show you the white in the um, just one set of the white because the prints are all the same on the other two um, it's hard to see on the black I think you can barely see it but it's black and then they printed gold on there but the prints are all the same as far as in the three colorways. 
So each set, each color has two sets, and each set has, I think, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, looks like eight different patterns or prints. So this one just says Miss You at the top, and then it has a little boy and a little girl down here with a bird cage. And then this one has flowers, more flower theme. This has a um, kind of a love note theme. This just has the pattern around it with the lines. Another one with like a filigree floral and lines. This has a bunny up here. And then this one has something written in French down here, which I would need to look up, but then it just has that neat pattern around. So, so there's 16 sheets of each color and two of each print. So that was kind of cool. These are great to add in junk journals. And also, if you just wanted to write a letter and send it to somebody, but I thought this, the colorways really went well with this vintage paper over here. So yeah, that is what I picked up from craftsbuyer.com. I'll have the link down below as well as a coupon code and the links for all of these items. And then um, be sure that you're subscribed to my channel because I will be making things with these items and posting future videos. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and subscribe, and I will see you again next time. This is Kim with Creative Craft Academy. Whoa, Creative Craft Academy. Bye. God bless.